Welcome, Lafayette family, Facebook friends. I'm Pastor Steve Graves of Lafayette Presbyterian Church in Tallahassee, Florida. This is my weekly Lenten meditation, and the devotions this Lenten season are taken from Matthew chapter 20, verse 22, and the well-known hymn, Are Ye Able, Said the Master. And you and I are meditating together here in my office. Usually when I'm praying or meditating, I'm over to the left out of camera range. There's a little chancel area here that I have with crosses and candles. And I love to darken the room and light candles when I pray, contemplate, meditate when I am turning over in my heart the scriptures for the coming Sunday or for a devotional such as this. I do have my favorite menorah uh, over here behind my left shoulder, and I usually like to light it, and it becomes a focal point for my prayers, and it helps me find that spiritual state where we can feel closer to God through the gift of the Holy Spirit. Well, today I am going to include in my devotion the song, Here I Am, Lord. You remember that I have shared already in the first several weeks that it helps me to think of a song or an anthem or a hymn and to sing it while I'm praying or meditating. One piece of good news, I've been disturbed at how poor the sound quality of my guitar has been, and I discovered that it's not me, that Facebook and YouTube both compress signal, and it doesn't do a guitar any justice at all. And I went online to see if there are workarounds, Oh, yes, there are. There are workarounds, each of them requiring an expenditure of about $300 of audio equipment. So I just thought, you'll know my heart's in the right place, and my guitar doesn't actually sound the way it will come across on this video. Well, let us now take a deep breath. Slowly allow the troubles and trials and challenges of our daily lives and the outside world drift away. And let us come before God in prayer. Lord, as we gather today, we ask that you would open our hearts to your word, your will and your way. We pray that nothing of the world can intervene in our hearts, in our faith, in this time of prayer and devotion. We pray these things in Jesus' precious and holy name. Amen. I'm going to begin with a verse of, Here I am, Lord. This is one of the favorite hymns of Presbyterians, and it is one that touches my heart, especially as one who feels called. I am, Lord, is it I, Lord, I have heard you calling in the night, I will go, Lord, if you lead me, I will hold your people in my Here I am, Lord. Yes, we Christians 
love to feel that beautiful feeling in our hearts and spirits when everything is going right, when we feel in tune with the universe and with our Lord and with our faith. Here I am, Lord. But I'm also reminded of Isaiah chapter 1, verses 19 through 20. This is God's word. If you are willing and obedient, you will eat the good things of the land. But if you resist and rebel, you will be devoured by the sword. When I think of this scripture, what's the first thing that pops into my mind? Well, it's from the first phrase. If you are willing and obedient, if you are willing and obedient, don't those sound like the same two things? Isn't being willing the same as being obedient? Perhaps not. This first phrase is almost like a precondition for the Lord's blessings. If you are willing and obedient. What is the difference between being willing and being obedient? Well, my friend Gary and I in high school thought we had it made. We read in the paper that over in Belle Glade, they were short of sugar cane hackers. And if we were willing to go over on a Saturday morning, we could cut cane and the hourly wage, which I don't remember anymore, but the hourly wage was well beyond anything we could earn in our regular jobs with fast food or at grocery stores. It was huge. And we thought, how hard can it be? And so we trundled off to Bell Glade early on a Saturday morning. We were going to be wealthy by the end of the day. <laughs> well, we were willing, but we were certainly not obedient to the task. Oh my word, if you've ever been in a sugarcane field, first there's all kinds of smoke, there's muck, and the air is thick and humid, and there are more mosquitoes per square yard then should be legally allowed in this here United States. I don't know how God's creation ever allowed for any of this. <laughs> well, and we weren't very good at cutting either. It turns out it's pretty hard work. And we gave up within 45 minutes. We still earned a little pittance, <laughs> but we realized that there is a difference between being willing and being able, between being willing and being obedient to the task. You see, we were willing based on what we knew, what we thought, what we felt. Ah, but change can come at any moment, and we're not always prepared for the path that is laid out before us. And so in the scripture, in the hymn, Are Ye Able? Jesus isn't simply asking, Are you willing? But Jesus is asking, Will you be obedient? Will you be able, even when it doesn't turn out the way you hoped it would, even when things take a dark turn, are you still going to be willing when you must sacrifice, when you must be humbled, when the ball 
no longer bounces your way. Are ye able? Will you be obedient to the call? And so I have two questions for us today. The first, have you ever made plans for your life? Well, of course we have. All of us have made plans for what we were hoping to do, where we were hoping to go, how we were hoping things to be. And even if we haven't made formal plans, we, like the disciples, have a sense, you know, we all have a sense of where we would like our lives to go and how we would like them to flow. Second question, have those plans ever been interrupted, sidetracked, or even obliterated? Our lives can take an unwelcome turn at any moment. It can be in small ways. Everyone who's been a parent knows what it's like to be looking forward to a good night's sleep and having your young infant child cry all night. <laughs> yes, our lives can be interrupted in small ways. A minor injury which delays a vacation, a weather condition that complicates a family gathering. Yes, our lives can be interrupted in small ways, but also they can be interrupted quite significantly. An untimely death, a loss of income, a dreaded diagnosis, an emergency within our family, an accident that leaves us without many options. Our lives can be interrupted in ways we have never anticipated and certainly never welcomed. Now, Jesus doesn't say, I'm really going to pile it on you. I want to see if you can outdo Job. Sometimes it feels that way, and certainly there are those who have had more than their share of heartbreak, sorrow, and grief. But the Lord does, when Jesus calls us, asks, in a sense, if I lead you away from green pastures into desert dunes, will you still walk with me? If I call you to a time of suffering and sacrifice, will you still praise my name? If I ask you to endure and be patient, will you hold on to your faith? Are you willing? But even more importantly, are you able? Are you able to be obedient to the call of Jesus Christ? Let us hear the chorus of Are Ye Able? spirits are thine. Remold them, make us like the divine. Thy guiding radiance above us shall be a beacon to God, to love and loyalty. Thank you. 
I pray that when the Lord Jesus Christ calls, that we all can respond. We are willing. We are able. We will be obedient to the call. Let us pray. Lord, we thank you for this time of meditation. We thank you for the opportunity to go a little deeper into our lives, to examine how we have responded to your call. Very often we've been willing, but have we been able? Have we been obedient to the call? Lord, remold us, make us like the divine. In Jesus' precious, holy, precious and holy name we pray. Amen. Grace to you and peace from God our Father and the Lord Jesus Christ.